Hey there, my little YouTube family, and welcome back to my channel. I don't know, I feel like I said that in a weird voice. Let me try that again. Hey there, my little YouTube family, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kelsey. I am a vegan and professional interior designer, and I make videos every Monday about one or neither of those very unrelated topics. Before I get into today's video, I just want to take a moment and say thank you to everyone who is subscribed and everyone that's been showing me love over the past couple of months on my comments, on my Instagram. I love you guys. I see you, I appreciate you. It's been a semi-long and very stressful YouTube journey thus far for me, and I can safely say that I have almost reached 1,000 subscribers. And to most of you watching, I probably sound really lame and stupid because 1,000 subscribers is like literally a skid mark on the underpants of YouTube. But for me, this is a big milestone and I'm gonna celebrate it because I'm proud of myself for sticking with this week to week. Even though I dropped off the face of the earth like two to three times within the past couple months. <laughs> but to celebrate 1,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway! I'm gonna be doing this giveaway when I actually hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you want updates on how to enter, you have to follow me on Instagram. Although I will be announcing it and hopefully my next video, what the details of the giveaway are. I am going to do it on Instagram. So you need to be following me on Instagram to enter. Also haven't decided what I'm giving away. We will figure that out later. And be sure to tell all of your friends that are not subscribed that you think would be interested in my videos to subscribe like this video, comment, just just everything that you can to get me to a thousand subscribers so I don't look like a complete fool of myself next week when I still am teeter-tottering between 998 and 999 subscribers and just go down into a deeper, deeper hole of self-pity and, and self-hatred and self-obsessed, psychologically damaging downward spiral. Great, we got that. Now, with that said, today is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm doing an unboxing. I've never done this before. I used to hate watching haul videos and unboxing videos it just it just made me so angry that other people could afford to to do hauls because I mean a haul to me is just like how are you spending $500 at H&M I'm just really unsure I'm unsure about that and I also used to find them a little bit boring but we're gonna shake up this atmosphere a little bit and we're gonna make this fun I'm gonna be showing you some stuff I received from public goods in order to be completely transparent I want to say that public goods did reach out to me and ask if they can send me a box of free stuff to try and review so I did not not pay for any of this. With that said, I will be giving my 100% honest feedback. I may have sold my soul to capitalism, but I am not yet ready to sell my aggressive opinion. At least not yet. I'd do bad things to be sponsored by Starbucks and Whole Foods. Come and get me, Capital America. I also have a discount code for you guys if you want to shop public goods, which I will explain more in detail at the end of this video. So stay tuned to hear about that. Okay. Let's get started. So if you've never heard of Public Goods before, they are a website that curates and sells lots of sustainable and healthy products such as home goods, body care, food, and like everything in between. Every product on their page like draws out exactly what it's made of, where it's made, why it's sustainable. It's extremely transparent and that's like one of the reasons why I was so excited that they reached out to me about this opportunity. My favorite thing is that they carry a lot of products that are zero waste, which is something that I've been like edging on for the past couple of years, just trying to reduce my waste, not go up 100% zero waste because that's really, really hard, but just reducing my, I guess, footprint in general. They are cruelty-free because we love to love animals. A lot of their products are vegan friendly. They stay away from harsh chemicals, limiting plastic production. I mean, really all of that good stuff that big corporations try to tell you, but instead of greenwashing, they're like actually doing all of it. Some other causes they contribute to are reforestation, carbon offsetting, recycling and repurposing, fighting food insecurity, and they donate excess inventory. Now, I'm gonna talk about the membership program. So the way that Public Goods works is you sign up for their membership, which gives you access to premium goods at like a super affordable price. Their membership is $59 a year, which equates to about $5 a month. And then you have access to everything on their site and you get free shipping over a $45 purchase. If you're interested, they do a little free trial. You can try it out, order some things. If you like it, sign up for the membership. If you don't, you're free to cancel. I feel like you're really getting your money's worth because everything on the site is like not only like super 
affordable to purchase, but also because a lot of the stuff that they sell are like higher price ticket items, super high quality, like tree free items and sustainable items. I mean, if you went to Urban Outfitters, they try to sell you a like 50 cent hair tie for $12 and I, I still unfortunately buy all of that shit and I really should stop doing that. And the best part is they plant a tree for every new member. I mean, come on. Okay, it's time to open the box. We've got the box. Oh, don't look at my address. <laughs> Let it be known that this is the first time I'm actually opening this box. Is this recording? Oh, thank God. It's all good. All right. I love, first of all, that they packaged everything with paper and not plastic because we hate plastic. We love paper, we love sustainability. I'm a little tipsy. I went to margarita night before I did this. <laughs> okay, first thing in our box is, ooh, ooh, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> We've got some aloe vera gel, body wash, and some crystal spray deodorant here. It's packaged in, oh, is this something else in here? Oh. Pasta, some tree-free tissues, and a sea sponge. How adorable is this? It's so cute. Okay, great. Now, let's go buy each item one by one and test them out. First on the table is the aloe vera gel. This retails for six dollars. You know it's hot girl summer, all you hot ass bitches are about to be having fun in the post-pandemic sun, but this is a public service announcement to please wear sunscreen because we don't like wrinkles. We are afraid of aging. Age is a construct. Technically I'm still 19, I steal vodka out of my mom's cabinets, I don't take responsibility for anything in my life, and I watch way too many Disney cartoons. Actually this one time in high school I went to a college party and I thought I was so cool and this older man started talking to me. Not like, not like that older, but like, you know, older for me. I, you know, he's probably like 20. So like still not legal drinking age, but to me it was older. And he came up to me and asked me what my favorite movie was. And I said, Mall Cop. And I will never forget that story because it proved that I am a fucking weirdo. And the sad part is, is that if some man asked me what my favorite movie is tomorrow, I would probably still say, all cop. It's a good movie, you should watch it. But when I start acting out and I forget to wear sunscreen, I'm definitely gonna need some aloe vera to soothe all of my mistakes. I am actually one quarter Puerto Rican, which no one actually ever believes me when I tell them that because my skin complexion did not get the memo and I burn extremely easily. I'm very sensitive. My skin is like a baby's ass. I'm that old lady that wears a shawl to the beach. Oh wait, no, sorry. I'm that young 19 year old lady that wears a shawl to the beach. As for the specifics on this aloe vera, the ingredients are super clean. There's not a lot in here. Organic aloe, xanthan gum, which I, I used to cook with all the time. I know exactly what that is. Alcohol free, paraben free, vegan friendly, phthalate, phthalate free, gluten free, cruelty free, and it's made in the USA, which I mean, I, I don't remember the last time I bought something that was made in the USA. I don't really know if that still exists. The packaging is super minimal. Clean. I mean, that's what I love. I have the 12 ounce bottle. In addition to just soothing all of the pain from your lack of dignity and mistakes that you're gonna make this summer, you can also use this to relieve puffiness around your eyes. And I know of some people that put aloe on their face as like a face mask. I've never tried that before, but I would like to, and I would actually like to see if that works. Oh, <laughs> I have to open it. Come on, Kelsey. It's very like smooth, soothing. It's not super thick. It doesn't, it doesn't smell like anything and it doesn't have that sticky residue, which I feel like normal aloe, you put it on your skin and it feels really sticky. I'll check back within you in, in July when I have a sunburn. Okay, next. We've got the gluten-free Fusilli 
Fusilli. Fusilli pasta. How is it that I live on Long Island and I literally can't pronounce the one Italian word I needed to know today? This is an organic red lentil pasta. It is gluten-free and I am not a gluten-free person. I do not have celiac disease, but PSA, I do have a gluten intolerance. And what exactly does that mean, Kelsey? Well, it basically means that I can't eat large amounts of gluten. Otherwise, I will get extremely bloated and gassy. You are welcome. Welcome for that tidbit. I think my tragic flaw is being way too comfortable about talking about my digestive issues in public. But in my opinion, we need to be more open about things because everyone has these issues. And if you say you don't, well, you're a liar. Why do all hot girls have stomach issues? Am I hot because I have stomach issues or do I have stomach issues because I'm hot? Everybody poops, guys. They even made a, a, a book about it. And right now they're actually having a sale. So this box of pasta is on sale for three. 50 right now. Another thing that Public Goods does is they have a whole section for their surplus. So when they have a surplus of things, they can give it to you at a super discounted price. The only ingredient in here is organic red lentil flour. That's it. It's a great source of protein. There's 12 grams of protein per serving in here, which is actually really great. Ooh. Now, I clearly don't have a pot and stove, but we're gonna do a little swoosh transition and try this baby out. Ready? Three, two, one, swoosh! I'm now in my kitchen. I'm gonna be cooking this pasta and see how it tastes. Let's get a pot. If you don't know how to cook pasta, then you're probably failing at life. It's very brightly colored, kind of cool. I actually also have some mushrooms, some kale, and some broccoli already in my fridge. I think I'm gonna make a little like vegetable pasta. I'll just throw that stuff in a pan with some olive oil and cook it up quick. Our water's just about boiled, I'm just gonna throw it in. I never actually wait for it to boil completely because who has time for that? And I'm just gonna use some regular pasta sauce that I have. Let it be known that I actually changed into a dark colored sweatshirt because I have a problem where I get marinara sauce on literally everything I own. If I wear any kind of white or light colored shirt or something that I actually like, I cannot come anywhere close to my kitchen because I will eventually get marinara sauce on it even if I'm not eating marinara sauce. It says to cook it for seven to nine minutes. I'm just gonna see when it tastes done. And then once the veggies are like pretty much cooked, I'll put like a little bit of marinara sauce in it so it'll absorb the sauce, I guess. It also gives it a little bit more like water. If the veggies have kind of gone dry from the cooking process, All right, I think the pasta's pretty much done. It's like a little al dente, but the box says not to overcook it. And then I'm just gonna dump the water out. And also what I like to do, because a lot of these like vegetable-based pastas have kind of a film on them, I always rinse it off first to get all that extra film. All that film like kind of comes off of the pasta, which is totally normal, but I just like to rinse it. Then I'm just going to combine it with my vegetable mixture. Add some more of our marinara sauce. I like a lot of marinara sauce. It's pretty good. I feel like you do get that same taste with any vegetable-based pasta. <laughs> Let me get a napkin. Um, like regardless of the brand, what kind it is, like it never tastes exactly like regular pasta but it's a really healthy alternative to regular pasta. I mean, my main thing with veganism in general is people eat vegan things expecting them to taste exactly like the real thing. And it's like never gonna taste exactly like the real thing because it's not gonna be the exact real thing. You know what I'm saying? So I always tell people just eat food that tastes good and don't worry about what it's supposed to taste like. If it's good, then eat it. All in all, I do like this pasta. I don't eat like vegetable based pastas all that much, but I do sometimes and I feel like I would get this.
The next item I received was some crystal spray deodorant. I don't know what crystal spray deodorant is, but what I do know is that white bitches love their crystals and I am one of them. It also just sounds like way more fabulous to tell people that you're spraying crystals on your armpits as opposed to regular like roll on deodorant. It's like when people say they summer on the coast, but in reality, they're just going to the Jersey shore with their aunt. It just sounds better. This retails for $4.25. This literally just has has mineral salt and purified water. That's it. And if I knew that I could just put salt on my armpits to not make me sweat and smell, then I would have saved a lot of money over my past 26 years. For best results, use after showering. Well, I haven't showered in a bit. <laughs> Don't ask me when I showered. <laughs> Let's try this. Ooh! Doesn't really smell like anything. It's, it's like weirdly satisfying. Well, I guess it's just salt and water. Is it working? I should probably try this when I'm when I'm going to sweat. So we'll we're not going to sweat tonight. We'll we'll try that later. Now for the tree free tissues. I was most excited about this one because I'm really looking for a sustainable alternative to midday crying. Some people go on a walk to relieve stress. Some people work out. Some people eat their feelings. Well, I like to cry. And not just when I'm sad, when I'm happy, when I'm stressed out, when I'm laughing, when I'm confused, when I'm drunk, when I watch a Google commercial that makes me feel some type of way. Basically, when I'm not a 100 energy level, I am crying. Now, I love that these are tree free. There's 180 sheets in here, which is good for, I guess, 180 cries, or I guess you can double that if you're cheap like me and you like to rip the tissues in half and just, you just blot a little bit. Instead of using trees, they're made from bamboo and sugar cane, which are way more sustainable. They are a renewable source. These only cost $3 on their website. And it says that they are good for sensitive skin and allergy prone people. And they are 100% biodegradable. Now, let's Let's open these bad boys up and show you how it works. Again, packaging is really simple. The box actually feels really nice. It's super thick and sturdy. It's not like a cheap little little tissue box. I actually really like this tissue box. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gooing over a tissue box. Now, let me show you how these work. The first step is to start your day super motivated, like you're ready to take on the world. Then look for one minor inconvenience in your day. After that, contemplate your entire life, your hobbies, your career, your diet, your relationships, where you're living, literally everything about your life, all at once. Sit with it, really sit with it, and let that sink into your soul and just gently tap in a swift motion from outside to inside. Okay, life hack for whenever you're crying at work. You wanna directly look down like this so the tear goes directly from your eyeball. And the next item we have is <clears throat> our sea sponge. I've always been grossed out with loofahs and washcloths. I don't know why, but I actually have never used a washcloth in my entire life. I genuinely don't even know how, how it's supposed to work. On, like on your body just like flops around when you, when you try to move it. How does it work? Riddle me that Bed Bath & Beyond. How does it work? I've been casually washing my body with my hands my entire life, which I'm not really sure if that's the right way to do it, but I guess the only wrong way to bathe your body is to not bathe it at all. Well, I haven't showered in a bit. <laughs> this is either going to change my life or not affect it one little bit. But it's so cute, look at it. It's about one, like almost one Kelsey fist grab in height and width. It is a sea sponge, which I would think is a sponge that grows in the sea. All natural, biodegradable, and bacteria resistant. It feels so cool, it's like kind of squishy, but also kind of like satisfying to touch. I don't really know what it is. This retails for $5.50 on the website. They're durable, yet super soft, and the the website says that you can use it on a baby's skin. I don't plan on having any babies soon, but like I mentioned before, my skin is like a baby's ass. There is a discrepancy on whether these could be vegan. I know a lot of vegans don't use any of these type of products or materials because sometimes they can be sourced in really unethical ways, but Public Goods says that they source them sustainably from Greece. I also believe that it is, it's really hard to make the decision on what is sustainable and what is right because taking something from the sea could be damaging, but at the same time, buying something that is plastic, like a loofah, 
could also be damaging because you are buying something that is literally never going to biodegrade. I say that I'm gonna try this and if I like it, I'm gonna keep it. And also this I'm going to have way longer than I would probably have a plastic loofah. Next on the table is this body wash. The body wash retails for $4.50 on the public goods website. I've been looking for a clean, natural body wash and I'm really hoping that this could be my new favorite thing. I have a certain beef with Bath and Body Works, mainly because I feel like everything I put on my body is slowly giving me cancer. Even though if you took my adolescence from ages nine to 15 and you bottled it up and you made it into a hand sanitizer that like kind of burned the top layer of your skin off, it would smell like Japanese cherry blossom. It smells really clean and fresh because there's no chemicals in it. It's all essential oils, it's all natural scents. It doesn't have a super harsh, overwhelming smell. I mean, I'm not really good at smells, so I, I can't really explain to you what it smells like. <laughs> it smells like something I would get at a fancy hotel. Not floral, more like citrusy. No, not citrusy. Yeah, oh yeah, grapefruit. Okay, I was right on, I was right on the citrus. This has a couple more ingredients to it. Water, sodium lauryl methyl isonate, cocoa emitted to something from co something from coconuts, something from other coconuts, something from olive oil, something else from coconuts. OMG, and the bottle is made from sugarcane. The bottle's not even made from plastic. It's paraben-free, vegan-friendly, sulfate-free, gluten-free, natural fragrances, and cruelty-free. And finally, we've got some hand soap. I hope after the year and a half we've had, everyone knows how to properly wash their hands. Think about that. Do you actually know how to properly wash your hands? Because I don't think I do. Wet hands with water and apply enough soap to cover all surfaces of the hands. Rub hands palm to palm to obtain a good quantity of foam. Then rub right palm over the back of left hand with interlaced fingers. Rub again palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Rub the back of your fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rub rotationally left thumb clasped in right palm. Clean the tips of the fingers. Rub rotationally backwards and forwards with clasped fingers of right hand in left palm and vice versa. <laughs> this unboxing is sponsored by Dr. Anthony Fauci. The ingredients list on this is very similar to the body wash. Wash. Bottle also made of sugar cane, also has all those essential oils and those coconut derived ingredients. And this retails for four. 50 on the website. And that is all I've got for you guys today. If you are interested in trying out public goods, I have a 15% off code for you to use. You can use the code KelseyPGA15 for 15% off your first purchase on publicgoods.com. And I've left a link to their website in the description box below, along with a list of everything that I showed in today's video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and tell your friends because I really need to get to a thousand subscribers before next week because if I don't get to a thousand subscribers before next week I'm just gonna make a complete fool of myself because I, I made the whole the whole speech at the beginning you you remember the whole speech that I made at the beginning I, um it really helps me grow my channel so I can make more videos like this and I can deliver them to you guys every Monday and I can commit more time and more energy and more fun to these videos <laughs> please subscribe to my channel also follow me on Instagram for more updates about the giveaway that I'm gonna do when I hit 1,000 followers! Have a beautiful rest of your day and rest of your week. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Goodbye. <laughs>